Hello, hello. Welcome to another lesson and um, today we're going to do a breakdown of when I remember what the Lord has done. I did it in E flat major. <laughs> try as much as possible to break down the course first then after that I'll see if I can play everything so I start with this E flat add nine chord I told you I like add nine chords so this E flat major and I'm adding my nine and I'm just repeating some notes left hand Chords here are uh, kind of simple to play. So I have F minor seven chord, F C F, F E flat, A flat. Right, let's go on. Then this is giving me E flat seven chord. This is the chord. Great. E flat major seven, flat to seven to give you E flat seven. Right. And I'm voicing it this way. You can always look at the notes on your screen and we move on. So this is basically F minor chord. F minor, right? Now I'm voicing it this way. I go to a B flat major chord. This is very simple. B flat major. flat 7 chord. This is a chord. Alright. And I'm voicing it this way. Left hand, right hand. Left hand, right hand. Great. Okay, now let's get serious. Great. So, uh, this is what I'm doing there. I'm doing a G flat 6 flat 9. You can say F sharp, 6 flat, 9. Uh, but because we are in E flat, let's just keep the G flat, right? So this is G flat major, then this is the 6, right? Then this is going to be our 9. I'm playing a flat 9. Great. I'm playing this on my right hand and this on my left hand. Okay, so this gives us F7 sharp 9. F7, F major 7, F7, then this is my 9, F9, sharp 9, great. I play this on my right hand, then this on my left hand. G minus 7 chord. G, D, G, then B flat, D, F, G, B flat. Right hand, left hand. We are going to meet a lot of minus 7 chords. Minus 7 chords are... I think they're everywhere. We can't do away with them, right? So this is G minor, G minor seven, right? This is the chord, and I'm voicing it this way, repeating some notes, right? Okay, then from here, I do that. Okay, I'll break that down. All right, that's the movement I'm doing there. The idea is like uh, I was supposed to do it to five one, right? And I'm like, no, okay, let me just do four rather four five one. So it wouldn't be like we always playing two five one. And then on the four, I'm playing this a diminished major thirteen chord. Let's see how we get the chord. E flat major, right? Then E flat minor, E flat diminished, diminished major seven. Mm, great. Then I am adding my nine diminished major nine. Then this is going to be my thirteen diminished major thirteen. And I'm voicing it this way. This on my right hand and this on my left hand. Great. Then I'm coming to a B flat thirteen chord. B flat thirteen. Uh, some people would just be like B flat seven. Then bracket 13 back okay let's just 
like B flat 13. Okay? So this this is a chord, and I'm playing this the 13th, right? So I'm voicing it this way. D is here. Then uh, G is repeated. Right hand, left hand. Right, left hand, right hand. I come to E flat at nine, then I do a run. I like this kind of chromatic walks on my left hand. So to come to my E diminished seven chord, this E diminished seven, a very simple chord. So you just go on. I get to I, I, I think I play very simple chords there so from here very very simple this is also very simple okay then from here and go okay so this is where I'm changing the chord so uh, I think under normal circumstances, we're supposed to play. If I go back, then A like a very simple approach, right? Then playing. If I go back, this is not in our scale. It's not diatonic to the E flat major we are playing, but I'm still playing it there to give you this B flat major nine chord. Sounds a little bit kind of jazzy, right? So. Right, this is the chord B flat major nine, B flat D F A then C, and I'm voicing it this way F A C sorry C then D then F right on my right hand, then this on my left hand. So never go back. Mm, then the next chord is this. Good, and this is the first part. I'll break this down. Great. First chord. Uh, I think I won't agree with this name. G7 flat two soft strings over D. It sounds a little bit kind of weird. We look at it in a different way. Okay, so I'm playing D, A, a then F, A flat, A flat, D. G on my right hand, then this on my left hand. Anymore. Very good. Alright, so what is this chord? Right. Let's keep this here and let's bring uh, these notes here. Great. So what I'm basically playing is A flat major seven sharp eleven thirteen flat two. I think this one should be okay. And I'm voicing it differently. Uh, Alright. Um, let's see how we get the chord. So, a flat major then this is going to be my sauce two right mm, then I play this is going to be my flat two great then this is my 11 then I'm playing a sharp on the 11 then this is my major seven great then I add the 13 so this is how I get the chord but I omit the five because it's not going to affect it in any any way I guess right so this is a chord and I voice it like this right hand then it's left with A D F good I'm taking my time because the chord is a little bit uh, kind of complex great so this is the first part of it uh, then after that I play I play, I think it's a scale. <laughs> All right, I will try and break that down. Um, the idea I'm using here is like I am trying to play a diminished leading scale, uh, which is on a D flat. So D flat diminished leading scale. <laughs> D flat is not in E flat major scale, right? 
but I'm using it. I'm using it to connect something. So. A diminished leading scale is where you play one, two, then flat three, then sharp four. This is your four, sharp four, then five, then six, then seven. Great. You can also look at it as like diminished, okay, then having a major. Great. If you understand some of these concepts, it's very easy to connect um, the chords that you're playing. So this is in the chord. Hey, the scale, sorry, this is in the scale, then this is also in the scale. So we have a diminished and we have a major, right? To give us a diminished leading scale. Da -de -de -de. Then I go down. De -da -de -de. Then I come back to E flat. De -da. That is what I'm doing there. Great. Um, let's continue. Then I respond with this uh, left hand movement. Then I play a C7 flat 9 chord. Uh, this is your C7, right? This is going to be your C9, and I'm playing a flat 9. And I'm voicing it this way right hand, left hand. I come back to F minor. Very simple chord. Then we've learned this chord. Whenever we're here, I play it very simple. Very simple. Go back. Okay, so from here I'm changing the course. Never go back. When I'm on, on the back, I do this. Left hand. Okay, then I come to this. This is not in the E flat major scale, it's not very tonic, uh, but I'm still using it. E minor 7. Where I'm playing E on my left hand, then G, B, D, E, G. I'm using minors there. Good. Okay, so that is a progression there. basically a flat minor chord so a flat major a flat minor and i'm playing it like this on my right hand this on my left hand we've learned this chord g minor seven we've learned it okay let's move on okay this is the next chord i'm doing a kind of a a pass there so i am using a flat minor a flat major, A flat minor, right? And I'm just repeating some notes. Right? Mm, okay. Then I come to B flat major 7. Great. B flat, D, F, A. D, F, A, D. Right hand, left hand. Great. Great. Then I'm coming to a C augmented chord Good. this is a basic chord C major then C augmented I'm just repeating some notes C is repeated then I play C in A flat on my left hand something like that and I respond da -de -de -de. Uh, some of these moves uh, the Ghanaians like using it a lot. Uh, I, I have an influence from the Ghanaian side where we're just doing this kind of walk down and we're playing it diminished there. So it's okay uh, like that. So I'm, I'm playing. Sorry. That's a progression there. I'll break it down. So, uh, like we're on 
never, I will never go. This is what I play there. The intention there was not to make it F major seven, then seven at the same time. I think in the course of the video, I played it like that. So for tutorial purposes, let's just keep it like this is what I played. But the intention I wanted to uh, really carry across was like, I'll just play F7 chord mistakenly or probably you just uh, went this way so right right hand left hand because this sounds a little bit weird when you add in it I guess unless maybe you think you're a fan of that Back. then I am to a D minus 7 chord uh, this chord we've learned it so many times in previous lessons Great. Minus seven chords, they're just there. We can't do away with them. Great. Then the next one is great. I'm playing a C7 chord. Very basic C7, but I'm voicing it differently. This is your C7 chord, right? And uh, the idea is like I'm doing any more, but this. I do the voicing differently where I put the E here on my left hand. Great. Then B flat here, C, E, G. This is giving me my melody. To a B flat 7 chord. So you see, this is uh, just like a dominant 7 chord which normally leads to one right uh, like we know but instead of me to play it like that I am I'm voicing it this way mm, great we're like this serves like a two rather than a five right F B flat D then A flat D F oh very nice uh, kind of a smart move I'm not saying I'm smart, but the movement is smart. <laughs> All right, let's let's see. Uh, this is the first and second portion of what I was doing there, and um, I think is enough for today's lesson. I will try and uh, play everything together. <laughs> I have tried maybe there were just a little bit mistakes here and there uh, because this I'm just trying to slow it down for tutorial purposes not like performance purpose um, maybe it's easier for others probably hard for some people that we've tried learning something uh, I'm glad you were here next time we will try and do something else um, keep practicing and enjoy music <laughs>